the Thrifty Southerner. Back again for another Thrifty Thursday haul. Believe it or not, amidst this snowstorm that we had, or actually after the snowstorm, I was able to get out and thrift at a couple of places that were actually open. Um, part of our city still doesn't have water, uh, <clears throat> so a lot of places are not open, but I did get out one day for just a couple of hours and go to the ones that were open, and I actually found some good stuff, and I had a few things from a couple of weeks ago, just not enough to make a video. So, I do have some things this week. Uh, ladies that ordered last week, if you didn't see my post on Facebook, I got your stuff mailed out this morning, and uh, I should have posted the tracking. I'm actually uh, filming this on Wednesday night to put up tomorrow, but I will be getting everything mailed out first thing in the morning. All right, let's get started. As usual, I'm gonna start with the things that I want to keep for myself and or my family. If you're interested in any of the items I'm selling, you can join my Facebook group. It is a closed group you will have to join. I will accept you and then you may ask about an item. Please give me your state for shipping so that I can tell you exactly how much shipping that item is gonna cost. And the first person to give me their email so I can send them a PayPal invoice gets the item. I'll have an hour to pay. After that, it'll go to someone else if they want it. So. All right, let's get started. If you like these kind of videos, please uh, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. Y'all be sure too that you have hit the subscribe button and you've also hit, I think it's all videos because sometimes it can fall in custom. I know I have to go and check on people that I like because their videos are not coming up in my news feed. So anyway, just check that. Make sure you have all videos checked. And uh, all right. So the first thing, kind of random, we are supposed to be going to Arkansas for my daughter's birthday in March, and we'll be doing some hiking and some crystal digging. This will be the third year we've gone in about four years. She decided she wants thrifty to go Thursday? again. It's not Thrifty Thursday, but I'm filming, I'm filming the video a day early. Oh! Shh. That was my daughter. She's like, it's not Thirsty Thursday. What are you doing? Thirsty Wednesday. Anyway. We're gonna be doing some hiking. We're taking two of our dogs, and one of them is special needs. I'll show you him. He's actually right here. I'll let you guys see. This is Mr. Bear Bear, and he has um, congestive heart failure. So he has to be on medicine, and he can't walk a long way. Can you, buddy? So, we got him this. We had one similar. And he really liked it, but he didn't fit in it very well. So I'm thinking this one will be better. It is tail up. What do you think, Bear Bear? You think you're gonna like it? Look at him. He's like totally freaked out. Yeah, he's a sweet boy. Anyway, so I got that. I don't remember how much it was. I think she only charged me like the price of a tote, like 99 cents. But it's cool, so. Hopefully that'll work out. I haven't tried to put him in it yet. It looks brand new. Nextly, we have, I got this Hamsa shirt. Just a little shirt to wear with leggings. I just thought it was cute. I was unable to try it on, so hopefully it, it is actually cute on. Because I'm sure I overpaid for it. I got it at Goodwill. I can't, I don't know. Oh wait, here's the receipt. Oh, I only paid two bucks for it. That's not bad. And then she, and then one ninety nine for the purse. So, that's not bad. All right. Nextly, I was super excited about this. It's the little things, you guys. This is a fragrance oil diffuser from Better Home and Gardens, which is Walmart. And I believe it also looks like it lights up with an LED light. I have one in my bathroom right now from Bath & Body Works, but it's like a fall one. And, uh... I needed a new one and so this one's brand new they had it marked at three dollars I looked on the Walmart website and that was the price that Walmart sells it for so they marked it down to two dollars for me this is a local thrift store here so that was cool and it also I got a better deal on these they also came with well they were beside it I'm sure the same person donated it um, rainy spring day which smells really good uh, I got two of these, and they were marked a dollar a piece, which is great, because I think these are like two fifty or three a piece at Walmart. This one is lemon Meyer lemon basil. 
those are the only two. I got three of the Meyer lemons and one of the, I mean, and two of the ring springs, spring days. So that's cool. I'm about to put that in my bathroom right now because as far as I'm concerned, it's spring and it's going to be summer soon. Go away, nasty weather. All right. Oh, no. <sighs> okay. Well, I bought this highlighter. I mean, I only paid 50 cents for it, and now that I'm looking at it, it's kind of dark, but it broke. So, so much for that. All right. That is all the things for myself and or my family. Let's move on. So... I did pay up a little bit for this. I don't remember exactly how much, eight or 10, I think, but it's in excellent condition. Oh, there's like a sticker. Excellent, excellent condition. I would venture to say that it's new. So this is a beautiful Dooney pouch, gorgeous robin's eggy type blue, maybe even a little bit brighter than that. And it still has this card in it white card there is nothing on the inside wait there was a little sticker so maybe somebody used it one time but I don't know it looks brand new to me it is so beautiful such a pretty color and it's pretty big, like. Okay, I actually accidentally shut the video off when I was measuring it. I'm pretty sure my phone would fit in here. I was measuring, I should have. But anyway, it's big. It's pretty. It's Dooney. Okay. Found two sack bags. This is really nice really really nice tote <clears throat> it says peace super cute in good condition as far as i can tell there's your sack that was also another uh lanyard on the inside there um there is some white schmutz and some red schmutz. So it looks like there's a lipstick stain on the inside and then some white stuff that just needs to be wiped out. I will wipe it out. Let's see, I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera. Let's see. So, there's some red and then there is this white, which is like powdery. So I'm pretty sure I can wipe the white out, but that red is in there. But as I've said many, many times, who looks in the inside of your bag? Like if they're in your bag messing around, they need to get out of your bag, right? So super cute. I'm just looking to see if I see any flaws on it. Looks great. It's so cute and it's a big tote. Sack roots. All right, anything back here? No. Oh, we have a webkin. That was another thing for us. My daughter collects them. All right, and then we've got a second sack roots purse. It is a either, it could be a crossbody. If you want it to be a crossbody, could be a shoulder bag. The strap is long enough or short enough for either. It's adjustable. There's that. Here's your little cute tassel with your giraffe and all that. And really nice. Can y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that truck? There's some loud trucks out here in the country, guys. Okay, this interior looks great. So that is those. And then I have some jewelry. I think three pieces of jewelry. 
let us look at that. So the first one is this Hermes uh, bracelet. I think it's probably not authentic. I got it at a consignment store. Um, it, it, it is stamped Hermes inside and it says SL and medium. So who knows? I mean, I guess it could be authentic. But I'm going to price it as if it's not because I have no idea if it is or not. I guess you might like to see it, huh? There it is. It's black. Um, I don't know how to open it. <laughs> I was going to have my husband help me tonight. Literally, guys, I'm, I don't know how to open it. It opens right here on the H but maybe someone can tell me how. It, it's not broken. I just don't know how to get the clasp to come loose. So there's that. It's in excellent condition. Excellent condition. Then I've got... These. These are sterling silver. They are marked. I've got a bunch of markings. TA205. I don't know what all those markings mean, but I know they're sterling. And they are little drops with what I would say would be onyx. Pretty sure it's onyx in there. So that's those. And then this is really pretty. I need to clean it because, and I wish I had thought to do that before. The video because the diamonds don't look like they're very shiny but if you turn it over it's dirty so this is a gorgeous tennis bracelet 925 um, it's also got some other markings on it but can you all see that I feel like it's not wanting to show you it's really pretty it's got a double safety clasp. So both sides, safety clasp. I don't know, that never works for me, you guys, but it is very, very, very pretty. It looks like a vintage piece. So if it doesn't sell this time around, you probably will not see this in the These Bags Need a Home because it's going to find a home with me. All right, guys, that's my haul. Um, I don't know if I'll have anything next week or not. I'm shocked I found this much stuff. I mean, because there were only just a couple of thrift stores open. So, um, but I had to get out of this house. We were in my house, did not leave for eight days. I know some of y'all probably quarantined for longer than that, but we were still working on and off during all of that because we were considered an essential business. So I have not been stuck in the house for that long. So anyway, cabin fever. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, until next time, y'all keep it thrifty.